everyone, Mr. T back here. I didn't actually have time to make this video, but I'm going to do it anyway because it seems to be a pressing topic and I'm getting viewers writing to me, hey, what's your opinion about what's happening in these resorts down south of Dominican Republic? Well, I'm not an investigator, so I don't know all the ins and outs and details, but what I can tell you is, I just looked up some statistics. In Chicago alone, there's over 900 violent crimes per month. Now, how much do we get to hear about those? Yet you get one, two, or three incidences happening here in Dominican Republic, and whoa, it's world news. That's pretty crazy. We should also focus on why is that? What is the agenda? You've seen other videos of mine, the ones about the new world order and all these kind of topics that I'm passionate about us all waking up to. They control the lamestream media. And just in my YouTube channel alone, I'm getting 97% positive and cool comments. But the 3% that are not are totally the other way. It's like, don't travel to Dominican Republic, shithole country, and comments along the line of that. And when I click on these so-called people, if they are, truly are people, to see who wrote that comment, it's always some empty account with one subscriber and nothing else. So they probably, this is more a guess, have millions of fake accounts. And I know half the Israeli army alone are sitting online just creating disinformation and debunking any piece of truth that's out there. And we all get hit by this stuff. And if they're trying to put people off coming to Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and many of these other tropical islands, you have to ask yourself, why is that? And in my opinion, it's because we are all slaves of societies. They don't want you to leave your country. They want you to stay there, spend your money, pay your bills, pay your fines, pay your taxes, and then they're happier. But that doesn't necessarily make our lives better, does it? So you have to be an objectivist. You have to question the narrative that you're hearing and make decisions based on what you think is right. So I just wanted to add my angle on it. Don't believe everything you hear. In terms of safety here, yesterday I was at some horse jumping thing. Was that scary? No. Then I went to Sasua Ocean Village to see their new park with little bumper boats. Was that scary? Well, not really. I tried some of their nice new beer down there. And then I went to Sasua Beach. Nothing scary there either. The most dramatic thing I saw yesterday was a Haitian guy with a flat tire on the highway. So all of those people who want to cook up that this is such a dangerous place, well, you have dangers in every country. You go down at night, some dark side street, there will be characters out there in every country who will try to get the better of you. Is it any different here? No. But here I feel safer in the public eye than I've ever felt in any other country. And on that note, I'm going to finish this video and just say, don't believe everything that you hear out there. Stop watching the lamestream media because they do have an agenda to indoctrinate you, to create fear in your mind, where if you look for alternative news sources, maybe you'll get the true picture. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And remember, you need to wake up and retaliate against all this crap. Thank you.